Hello everyone, myself is Wahi. I am a mechanical engineer and I have been a professional trainer for the last two years. And today I am here to record a brief demo on HVAC. So let's start. So before talking about HVAC, first let me explain you what is MUP. Because uh, people have a lot of confusion uh, between HVAC and MUP. So let me start with MUP. So MEP is a mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, and in short, I can say we have brilliant services. And in this brilliant services, so uh, you'll find list of services. But the major services you can follow is three. Here, the first is HVAC, and this comes under mechanical, and E is electrical, and uh, under MEP, uh, electrical it is uh, E. And next is a plumbing. So plumbing also comes under as a mechanical service and the part it wants to consider as a mechanical service. So in short, altogether, the four services we consider as MEP. And if you are dealing with the HVAC, means you are dealing with a major building service, which is a part of MEP. So if you talk about any service, first we lead with the designing. Uh, then we uh, we deal with the drafting. Then we we'll talk about stimulation and finally histamine. So before we with the HVAC or any service, first let me explain uh, what is designing and why drafting is required and the use of stimulation and finally highly they give for installation. So here in this slide, first we'll talk about designing. So designing in short, I can say planning, calculation, uh, decisions. So for example, if we talk about HVAC. Uh, no calculation, duct designing, pipe designing, etc. This uh, this belongs to design. It means we need to be bought no calculation and we'll deal with that that calculation, pipe calculation, etc. So all the calculations come in to design, all the planning comes in designing. So after completing the designing, then we require a systematic sketch, which is required for estimation and installation. So that we can call as a drafting. Uh, manual calculation is almost updated. So in actual practice, uh, we are dealing with the drafting using CAD software and the most common uh, CAD software is AutoCAD. So after preparing this systematic sketch using the CAD software, then estimation. So estimation is, I'm not talking about the cost estimation, I'm talking about the material takeoff. So how much material is required in order to start the fabrication of duct in order to deal with the piping or the machine installation, etc. All this we cover in estimation. So estimation in short, I can say metal takeoff. How much metal is required in order to deal with installation. And after this estimation, finally we'll take for installation. Nothing but the site execution, like installation of uh, chiller, installation of uh, pumps, uh, installation of other uh, service equipment like electric panels, like uh, plumbing fixtures. So if you talk about any service, not only HVAC, if you talk about any service, the first we'll take care for design, then we deal with the drafting. In drafting, we have a single line, line drawing, then double line drawing, and we have a dis list of drawings like design drawing, shop drawing, uh, as well drawing, etc. Next, uh, in steam, uh, next we'll talk about estimation uh, for any service. The next option is estimation, the like ready takeoff. Then finally, we'll take for installation the thing about site execution. So with this information, we start. What is HVAC? So here on screen, you can find. HVAC uh, means what? Heating, ventilating, and air conditioning. Mm. But in order to understand what is HVAC, first let me introduce a standard society called ASHRAE. So ASHRAE is American Society of Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning Engineers. And this society deals with research and development for the HVAC, including heart means refrigeration. And this society dealing with research and development including the survey and based on that they are uh, dealing uh, they are dealing with the standard course they are dealing with the the values which we are going to follow uh, at the time of designing and all this you can find in ASHRAE handbook so at this level in order to understand what is HVAC let me introduce coming comfort standards so based on ASHRAE uh, most of the people feel comfort at 76 degree Fahrenheit. so here you can find so it's not a fixed temperature. We are considering this as a standard. We have to discuss the range of comfort standard range. So at this level, most of the people feel comfort at 76 degree Fahrenheit or 25 degree centigrade. And if you talk about relative humidity, 
uh, in the range of 30 to 60 percent is okay for comfort and most commonly at the time of calculation will fall to 50 percent standard so now we got the set point 76 degree primary for comfort based on this we can define the heating so why heating is required so here we can follow the screen uh heating is is a process heating is a process of providing heat in an internal space to maintain desired temperature in winter if the temperature less than the standard let them be standard only we have the temperature set point say 70 centimeter family for a particular location for example if you talk of western countries like uk us Canada, australia in most of the time the temperature is less than the standard that is 26 uh, 25 degrees uh, centigrade or 70 degree Fahrenheit. say the temperature less than the standard we are dealing with the heat uh, next we'll talk about ventilation so ventilation in short i can say providing fresh air but for what for example if you switch on the AC, heat, uh, for example, electric machine, and you closing all the doors and windows, and after some time, the oxygen available in the space will consume by the human. As per the uh, metabolic activity, we are taking the oxygen, releasing the CO2. So after some time, the CO2 level increases and O2 level decreases, and that causes discomfort for human. So fresh air, the first purpose of fresh air is to maintain the oxygen level for human comfort and apart from this when you take the fresh air in for example for example if you if you consider some amount of air from outside for example you consider this as a room and in this room i'm providing some amount of fresh air say 300 cf cfm is a cubic feet per minute separate so half air in short this is just example so how much fresh air, suppose fresh air I'm considering the end safe, and that pool should be exhausted. Hmm. So first we are introducing this fresh air in order to maintain the oxygen level. And when you take this fresh air in from outside, that much should be exhausted. So exhaust air should be again safely under CA. So we are maintaining this oxygen level and with the exhaust, we can also maintain the quality of air by exhausting the air. So when you exhaust, the forest will, you know, by driven out by people uh, due to the sweat. And the skin due to the internal compressed like carpet, furniture, etc. can be used. So in short, I can say providing fresh air to maintain the quality of air is called ventilation. And this ventilation will directly affect food may comfort if you provide less than the standard or if you provide more than the required, it will directly affect the initial and running cost of the product. So this is important and so it is separate B in which we okay. Next we'll talk about air conditioning. So air conditioning is not just cooling. Because many people think that air conditioning is decreasing. But in order to deal with the air conditioning, first you need to maintain the temperature, no doubt, by adding the heat or removing the heat as per the requirement. And we are making the temperature say 25 degrees centigrade or 76 degrees Fahrenheit. The second parameter for air conditioning is RH. The RH should be 50% as per standard. You can maintain in between 30 to 60%. And the third parameter to get air conditioning is cleanliness. Cleanliness of air. And cleanliness of air can be done uh, by using a device called filters. But this is not the end. In order to get the air conditioning, we, also, we must also maintain proper motion and distribution. Distribution of air. So motion refers to the velocity. So you must maintain the standard velocity as per meter of birth and you must take care for proper distribution of air. And this proper distribution of air we get achieved by using the circuit called DAPS. A, a ducting we use and with the ducting we can uniformly arrange uh, the air terminals and through this air terminals we can supply air. That will discuss here now by the HVC uh, ducting module. Next finally we must maintain the noise limit. And the noise level should be less than 35 decibel as per human comfort. So if you maintain, if you establish all this and maintain these parameters, then you can say air conditioning is done. Okay. So here as per definition, air conditioning is the process of treating air in an internal environment in order to establish and maintain required standards of temperature, creativity, Cleanliness, moisture and distribution of air, and no doubt the must uh, Next, we'll talk about applications so HVAC. So, as you know, HVAC is one of the building service. So, this can be used 
in many applications. So if you talk about the list of applications, and this will be then because application of the trees in white. For example, this air conditioning can be used in residential, can be used in commercial project, can be used for industrial side, can be used for automobile, etc. So the list will continue. So this application is divided into two categories. Here, if you design the air conditioning and if the prime concern is humid, then we can call as comfort application. And under comfort application, you can find here some examples of even here you can find out this uh, uh, residential projects, uh, then retail fa uh, facilities, commercial and public buildings, all buildings, hotel, education, healthcare, etc. So if you are designing a traditionally, if the prime concern is women, comfort, and this com comes under comfort application. Next, the second category here is industrial application and if you design a condition if the prime concern is for process like uh, laboratories clean rooms pretty plants textile etc for a particular machine they work in efficient way to extract the heat we maintain the desired conditions for the process for the machine so that comes in that comes in the industry application so if you talk about application of air conditioning or say HVAC, that this is used in residential projects in uh, commercial project as well as in international sites. So in almost all the areas, we will find the application of air conditioning. And for more details, uh, you can contact our website that is s7dhvac or s7dmep.com. You can find on screen. And you can also message on WhatsApp. That the number is, you can call on screen that is plus 91 India code 9848699535. And you can also email with the given email info at smdnp.com and we are offering as i said the classroom training live online as well as video so thank you for watching this i hope you enjoyed this